Hello everyone, my name is Eric Jones and I'm your instructor for HOR 164-800 Hort Pest Management for Summer Semester of 2018. This is your first video that you will be watching this summer uh, in regards to pest management and what I did here is create a video uh, of my desktop to help you guys navigate the course. I just wanted to make sure that you knew where everything was within Blackboard where you can access the information that way if there's any any questions um, about Blackboard hopefully this will answer those questions for you or you can always come back to this video if you've forgotten where some of the information may be so uh, one of the questions that I get uh, often is which type of system do I need to use or which type of computer that I need to use uh, Blackboard works both with um, uh, MacBook Pros, iMacs, and any of your Windows based programs. And I'll be honest with you, I use both. Uh, I am a fan of both. Uh, more than often at home, I'm using my iMac, but here at the college, I am using uh, Windows based systems um, just because that's what they provide us in the classroom. So I'm a fan of both. I do have a uh, Windows based laptop as well, so uh, that I do carry around. Uh, to the different meetings and stuff so um, but it does matter which browser that you use the college recommends that we use Firefox and I have had uh, experience with that I've tried using Google Chrome Internet Explorer but Firefox just works better with Blackboard and our tech link and, and access to our email so uh, the school and myself recommend using Firefox and as you can see here on the screen I already have um, Firefox open. It is opened up to the Forsyth Tech homepage, forsythetech.edu. So that's what I want you to do. And hopefully you can open this video up in a new window and kind of follow along uh, on your computer. And uh, that way you can, you know, we can do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of where the things are on Blackboard. And hopefully this video helps. And I'm doing this video, guys, because this is a 100% online course. So we're at the homepage. Up top, you can see where it says Blackboard. It's going to open it up in a new window. You would go ahead and log in if you want to. I've been logged in all morning, so that's why it's uh, opening up. Uh, so you'd go ahead and enter your credentials and hit log in. You will see your courses on the right here, and hopefully you can see my mouse moving around. These are the two courses that I am an instructor for this summer. I'm um, teaching uh, equipment, ops, and maintenance as well. And then the course that you're in right now, HOR 164-800, 2018 Summer Semester Hort Pest Management. So let's go ahead and click on the course. And the first thing that's going to bring you to is the announcements. Now, um, from your side, Blackboard may look just a little bit different from the student version. You, On this video, you're going to see stuff that's um, not opened up on your blackboard as well. I, I can see everything that I've put up, uh, but I'll have it grayed out, and we'll, we'll see that here in a second. But if it's grayed out on my page, that means that you're not going to be able to see it from your end. But the first thing you'll see is the welcome message uh, to the course. Uh, so go ahead and read that. And also, I've put the link, the Forsyth Tech Universal Course Policies and Procedures. You'll see that uh, two or three other places on Blackboard. Uh, this was all the information that we used to have to print in our syllabus. Uh, but now Forsyth Tech has made it available as a link. And the link is in the uh, syllabus. And also uh, a couple other places here on Blackboard. So, But there's your announcements. Uh, the next thing that you'd want to pay attention to, and, and back to these announcements. Anytime that uh, I have an announcement to make to the class, it'll be here in the announcements, but it'll also send you an email uh, stating that the announcement's there. So um, you will, you will, you know, have plenty of time to get to the announcement and read it. Um, but your instructor tab over here is my information. Uh, there's my email, my work phone. Uh, my office hours. My office hours is located in the Strickland Center, 1223. Most of you already know where that's at. Your course information is where we have, again, the Forsyth Tech Universal Course Policies and Procedures. And I want you to click on that link. And we'll talk more about that in the syllabus lecture. But to click on that, um, it's going to have all the information about the Forsyth Tech Grading Scale, Academic Integrity, 
requesting accommodations for disabilities, your campus resources, and if you do have to withdraw from a course. Uh, and so that's good information there. Um, please take the time to click over uh, on it and read it. And then here is your syllabus. So I'm just going to show you how to access your syllabus. You're going to see your syllabus and your assignment schedule. And then again, there is your Forsyth Tech Universal Course Policies and Procedures. Um, I just want you guys to have access to that if there's any any questions uh, that you that you may need to look up uh, about a course. Um, your syllabus will contain your assignment schedule, but I also went ahead and put your assignment schedule as a separate clean um, PDF document. It's in one page. That way you can print out. You can print out two or three. I would recommend printing out both the syllabus and the assignment schedule and keeping it in your textbooks. But let's go ahead and show you how to open up the syllabus. And it opened up in a third tab. But here is your syllabus. And we will have a syllabus lecture. That will be your next lecture. But I'm just showing you where to get it. And then there is your Forsyth Tech Universal Course Policies and Procedures again. The link. And then here is your assignment schedule. So uh, print that entire document out. And then here is your assignment schedule in a clean document. Uh, it's in a PDF. You can download it to your iPads, your phones, whatever. But I recommend printing that out and studying those dates pretty, pretty good. And that is in your course information. In your course documents, um, all course documents for this class are located in the assignments folder. So nothing's really in there. And then you have your assignments. Now, uh, remember when I was talking about grayed out, you see Unit 2, Unit 3, Unit 4, they're a lighter color than Unit 1 and the exams folder. You can't see this from your side until it's opened up. And as you can see, this item is hidden from students. It will be available after June 6. So that's when Unit 2 opens up. So the only thing that you're going to see right now is Unit 1, exams, and your integrated pest management plan upload. Uh, this is your big project for the semester that you will do an IPM plan and look at the due dates. And uh, you must upload this in a Word document. You can't email it to me. You can't print it out and give it to me in class. If you're in another class of mine, you have to upload it since this is a 100% online course. And we'll talk more about how to do that when this uh, due date uh, gets closer. But then there's your exams folder. Let's go into unit one. Here's going to be the course entry assignment. Guys, this is the first thing that you have to do. It is a must or you'll be recorded as a no-show. This assignment's due May 24th, uh, just one minute prior to midnight. Um, so please do that. You'll probably get a ton of emails. I have to check and send emails. A hey, half of you's completed it, three-fourths of you's completed it. I want every single one of you to complete this because I want you to stay in the course. Uh, this is a good course. This is one class that as soon as you take are eligible to set for the pesticide licensing exam in North Carolina and turn around and start making money. And that's 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 a good thing. And that's that's the one course that that allows you to uh, to start making money right away in the self-employment realm. But your unit introduction, each unit will have a unit introduction, the unit objectives. It'll have the lectures folder. There will be a links and literature folder. And also within that folder, um, I type in the notes, everything that we're going to be covering. So, you know, you got to do the course entry assignment first, then read the following chapters in your ornamental and turf grass book. That's the preface. And then in your uh, core manual, you'll read chapters one, two, and three. And then we'll go back to the ONT book. And then we will go back to the core manuals for chapters four, five, and 12. And then lastly, but not um, last um, is chapter 10. One of the most uh, important ones, applying the correct amount of pesticides. So it's chapter 10. As you can see, we're kind of jumping around here, ladies and gentlemen. So um, it's not a big deal. It's I'm presenting you the information that I think is uh, most important. Uh, so that's how we're going to go. Also within the leaks and literature, you're going to see a calibrations uh, calculation worksheet. You're going to see a couple of YouTubes on calibration uh, to download this uh, worksheet. You just click on it, download it, and print it. Those are some math problems. And then um, towards the end of this unit, 
which is only available for 10 days, 10 business days. You have the weekend. Um, there'll be a video of me working these problems out for you. So um, we'll go back out here to the main uh, unit one page. So all your links and literature there, there's your directions of what we're going to do this semester. Uh, your homework is June, uh, due uh, June 4th. So click on your homework. And it's kind of set up as like a quiz, but we call it homework and it's graded as homework. But this is going to, you just click it to start uh, your homework. You've got a couple of attempts, attempts to complete it. So if you don't like your grade for that, you can, uh, you know, do it over again. Uh, there are blank, uh, fill in the blanks here. I will have to double check everyone's answer after the due date to make sure, you know, because I'll, I'll give you credit if you misspelled a word or something, but, you know, please try to spell it just like it is in the book because a lot of it is just sentence, sentences that are copied from your textbooks. And then in your lectures folder, you have, uh, you'll watch your syllabus lecture. And since I'm recording this video now, you don't see it here right now, but it'll be in this link right here, Blackboard Navigation Video. Um, and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and move that to be the first lecture in uh, Unit 1. So you'll watch the Blackboard Navigation video. I'm recording it now, but I've got the link already set up. So all I've got to do is, uh, is uh, put the new web address in there, and you'll click on that video. And there's your syllabus lecture. And then we're going to get started with uh, Pesticide Applicator Certification and Licensing. And then all of these lectures here that are... Anywhere from, I'd say they average about 45 minutes. Uh, some may be longer, some may be shorter. Uh, but that's all your lectures for Unit 1. And so they'll need to be watched because a lot of your test questions and your homework, uh, test questions and homework questions will come from the, um, the lectures as well. And uh, I do not put the slides up. I actually... Uh, uh, record the slides and uh, ask that you watch the videos. So there's unit one. When unit one is done, when we're complete with it, we'll go ahead and open up unit two. Unit one will stay open uh, for the entire semester for you guys to go back and study. And you'll see that there will be unit two, unit three, and unit four. And so we only have 40 instructional days this summer. And so uh, I've divided it up into 10 days per unit. You do have the weekends. Um, and then here's your exams folder. And you see that we have unit one, unit two, unit three, and unit four exams. You will have a comprehensive final exam, which will need to be um, you know, completed within the unit four time frame. But unit four is, is one of the shorter ones. And then if I feel that there needs to be a makeup exam, uh, I will activate it and give you the option of whether or not you want to take it. Um, I've done it before in the past, and I've not done it before in the past. It just depends on the grades and if, if people have, uh, you know, missed uh, an exam. Um, you have ample time to complete this, guys. You know, Blackboard's open 24 hours, uh, seven days a week. I do realize this is the summer, and some of you may take vacation. Um, but that's still not an excuse because there's, there's Wi-Fi pretty much everywhere we go now. We're, we're in that, uh, uh, we're lucky enough to, to have that. Things can get done um, any time of day with, with the tools that are available to us. But if you missed an exam or, you know, there were several low exam uh, scores and I feel like, um, you know, giving you guys another chance, we would activate the makeup exam. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the, the syllabus lecture. But that is the navigation for um, your assignments folder. Uh, the discussions tab, you know, here is where you'll introduce yourselves. And if you had questions about the class, um, I try to check this every day. Um, but if you do have any other questions, you're, you know, feel free to call me uh, at my office or email me at uh, the school email address. And so we'll go back to the announcements page. As you'll see, the welcome page, the course policies again. And uh, I wanted to keep this as short as possible, guys. But I just wanted to show you how to navigate the course. 
Again, if there's any questions, email me at ejones at forsythetech.edu or call me at uh, 734-7404. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next lecture.